everybody, give it up for Emily Faye Coleman! No one fucking said you could stop clapping. Ooh. That's right, yes. I live off your attention. Um, I don't understand it when people tell me that I only do this for the attention, because like, yeah, dude, that's why I did most things. Don't make it weird for me. Uh, so, what's the word, Big Bird? Yeah, we all doing all right? Silence, excellent. Uh, that is my favorite form of greeting for text messages. Only I like to replace Big Bird with the little chick emoji next to a building emoji to remind people that not only am I whimsical, I'm also a giant pain in their ass, and it's been going pretty well. Um, so, what do we think people who walk up escalators are doing with all their free time? Because I feel like the extra seconds that they're saving have to like add up. These are probably the people who are caught up with their reading. They probably knit. Activities that don't require human contact because they are the worst kind of people. Yeah. Like, don't undermine the ingenuity of, like, William T. Escalator yeah. because you can't stand still for 30 seconds. Like, Jesus. But I did see someone sitting on an escalator this week, um, and I was honestly too impressed to be mad. Like, that is, that is dedication to being lazy. And that's coming from someone who's thrown her shoulder out because she didn't want to get out of bed to grab something. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, well, what the fuck else is new? Um, I'm finally okay with being 25. Um, that took four months of my life. Uh, I kind of had like a nervous breakdown before my birthday because I wanted to be doing more with my life than eating like six quesadillas a week and falling asleep to Adventure Time every night. <laughs> And like, I've started putting veggies on those quesadillas, and I fall asleep watching Fraser now, so. <laughs> like, progress, I guess. Um, my least and most favorite part of that whole crisis were the 35 plus year olds who were like, just wait till you're my age. Like, they were angry about my depression. It's like, wait till your age for fucking what? Like, I've done less with my life with more time? Like, don't. That's a weird thing to one up me on. Like, Rain in your bitterness and ship out before you miss your, miss your shift at Target. Um, it's gonna be okay. I'm allowed to say that about people who work at Target because I also used to work at Target. And I know it's not that hard to picture me in khakis with like a deadness behind the eyes. I get it. <laughs> um, I do still work in retail. And it will fuck with your perception of time, apparently. Um, the other day, my coworker told me that a guy was in shopping for so long that he could have watched all of the good parts of Forrest Gump. <laughs> and I have two problems with that. One, all the parts of Forrest Gump are good parts. Like, that guy was not in there for two hours. Don't. Um, second, what a weird fucking way to convey an amount of time. Like, he wasn't even trying to watch Forrest Gump when that customer came in there. That's just how he chose to tell me about it. It's not a bad way of telling time now, like just imagine, like yeah, I'll be there and like one good Poison album, maybe <laughs> throw in half a Savage Garden album if the bridge is still closed, or like just go down I-5 for all of the funny scenes from The Wedding Singer and it'll be in that exit on the left. <laughs> uh, the cancer is spread to your liver, you have all of the parts of Gone with the Wind that I don't give a shit about left to live. <laughs> It's fine. He still has like three months to live. That movie drags on forever. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna get out of here. Um, can we give it up for Chris's Chris's jacket? It looks like he's gonna go hang out with Mary Poppins after this. It's exciting. <laughs>